Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, brothers, sisters, friends, enemies, and frenemies. It's Brother Rob Wilson. I want to give you the latest update on the latest feud that Tiffany Montgomery might find herself getting into. Maybe she'll stay out of it, but it seems that Tiffany Montgomery has fallen into the crosshairs of Celestial. We're going to watch these video clips in the name of Fair Use. Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Okay, let's get right into these clips. And and this, I think, would put be put under the category of false prophet calls out false prophet. Celestial, the Master's Voice Prophecy Blog, uh, seems to have Tiffany Montgomery in her crosshairs now. So this was sent to me by Brother Antonio O'Neill, and this is entitled The Importance of Discernment, Capturing What's Real, and Prophecy of Tiffany Montgomery. That's in the title, y'all. That's in the title. So she went and named her by name. Let's listen to what Celestial is talking about here. <sighs> so sometimes you can look and you can speak good and sometimes you can look and you can speak bad and this is my garden but the gates of this garden continually open and horses bolt out at the lord's command running throughout the earth carrying their messages and carrying their assignment this person is tiffany montgomery that i'm speaking of i'm speaking of the one called prophetess tiffany montgomery the Lord says that that is not his. This does not mean that the person is not a Christian. I'm not venturing to speak bad. But this does not mean that the person is from God. I am not venturing to speak good. I'm speaking that the Lord showed me very clearly in a dream what looks like a duck, what quacks like a duck, what moves like a duck, what speaks like a duck, what is bringing about all the correct and appropriate duck reactions in the witnesses who are watching it. But if God says, this is not mine, that means that the emphasis, the life, the power in the thing is not coming from Yah himself. It is very easy to maintain a ministry on human strength. It is very easy to maintain a ministry on human knowledge of the scripture. If you know the scripture well. And yeah, well, it's very easy, she says, to uh, maintain a ministry on human strength. But then what about on the strength of talking about uh, aliens and uh, man wolf creatures and man pig creatures? hybrids, Nephilim, uh, a whole bunch of subjects that are basically conspiracy theory subjects. And and also <laughs> calling out T.D. Jakes, which there's so many people calling out Tiffany Montgomery right now. So she's just jumping on the bandwagon. This is nothing. This is not a surprise to folks with discernment enough and you know how to turn a phrase you can preach a sermon every day of the week it doesn't mean that it's a sent sermon it doesn't mean that it's a jesus christ rhema servant um sermon and in america in all honesty it is incredibly easy to start a movement and get it rolling in the religious space because every other day the worshipers need something new to worship but that is not all when someone says that they are from God, that person actually needs to be able to show the visible markings and proofs that they are from God. This is not necessarily the fact that they need to show you a certificate from seminary or anything like that. There are visible proofs or markings that will be upon a true servant of God that can be seen inside the proofs of their ministry, inside how the people are perceiving them. This is not necessarily to say that in the absence of one or the other, 
proofs within the ministry or proofs in how the people are perceiving them for apostle paul had all the proofs he had all the letters but the people hated paul everywhere he went contention was stirred up against him so even if you look for instance at the marker of contention and say okay i will look at contention to see if the person is from god or not that may not well i would just look for people who have a high regard for scripture and a low regard for telling people that God sent them um, pornographic visions of homosexual sexual acts like um, Celestial has gone into in great detail. And also <sighs> the failed Kamala Harris prophecy where she said Joe Biden would not be president for long. And a lot of people want to overlook that, but that was given in November of twenty. 20 saying that joe biden would be out kamala harris would be in and barack obama would be back so we got to go on to this next section here which is about 20 minutes later i'm not going to play all that all this th stuff is kind of irritating as y'all know i just want to give you a tiffany montgomery update and essentially <laughs> she's in celestial's crosshairs here we go with another part who wants to be struck with lightning in the prime of their life it is dangerous to go when you are not sent. It is dangerous when a ministry is upheld by human impetus. That's one aspect that you must consider as you hear that God says, this ministry, this movement that is Tiffany Montgomery's is not from him. He says that it is not his. Ooh. This is not piggybacking off anything else. What I bring you here is the original word of God. When the Lord has this thing, he has this thing that he does. He will, he will seem to be in a place. It is almost like Moses says, oh, I saw the, the back of the Lord as he moved past me. It is just like that. God will just move past you and just throw one. He will just throw one or two sentences over his shoulder as an offhand kind of estimation of a matter that to us will seem so weighty it will seem such a controversial thing oh is this going to spark off another another firestorm people are so irresponsible in these end days they actually have things in their mind like oh the battle of the prophetesses people of america listen to me the grief that is sometimes hold on, hold on. we got to do something like this <laughs> <laughs> it's sad y'all it's sad i know we shouldn't laugh but she's thinking that we're looking at a battle of prophetesses this is not neither one of these two are sent from god people are so irresponsible in these end days they actually have things in their mind like oh the battle of the prophetesses people of america listen to me the grief that is sometimes in my heart for this nation because this nation has released so many nukes against other people. And this is a people that don't know what it is to be nuked. And so, so this nation has released so many nukes against other nations in the history of the world. Um, there's been two nuclear releases by the United States. I don't think this woman has a grip on reality. I think she's confusing her mind and her imagination with reality. I'm one of the only people telling you that millions in this nation are going to meet their maker or meet the devil because of nuclear ash. And look at the level of the people that I'm in the midst of. They No, they're not going to meet their maker because of nuclear ash or go and meet the devil. People are going to uh, go to hell and be condemned because they rejected jesus christ and did not receive the gospel of grace this woman is a prophet of death now i i didn't watch the the uh, points that uh before that or after that I, I was told that these were the only two points in which she called out tiffany montgomery but the title of the video which is, uh, like all her stuff is madness let me see how long this is it's over two hours i mean how anybody can talk about uh, un such unbiblical nonsense and the things that come out of her imagination, it's just mind boggling. But my question is, how and who <laughs> has Tiffany Montgomery not um, 
got in a feud with. And I don't know. I don't know what Tiffany Montgomery is going to do to this because we saw what she did with that that other young lady who called her out. And um, that turned into quite a feud. But maybe if Celestial is going to put out this one video, maybe nothing will happen. But maybe we will see the battle of the false prophetesses. Well, I just thought I'd give you an update on Tiffany Montgomery's latest situation developing with Celestial. This is Brother Rob Wilson. Just drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Please like, subscribe, and share if you care. Grace, peace, and love in Jesus' name. Till next time. Amen.